All right, what's going on guys? Um, got my brake lines in for the truck because one of the um, threaded nuts had stripped out on me. Not the threaded end, but the nut part had stripped out. So got on eBay and uh, got two new lines and stuff for it. I was actually just gonna replace the driver's side, but since both of them came all in one package, I went ahead and replaced both of them. Uh, when you go on eBay and you're trying to find brake lines for your typical year model Ranger 94 through 97 uh, just because it says 9 inch drums only that's what they've got it labeled as um, the brake lines are the same size the threaded nuts are the same size as your old one if you've got 10 inch if you've got 10 inch drums they will work I've got 10 inch drums, so they work perfectly. This here is just a pre-bent line that I uh, did a couple days ago, because I was actually, I wasn't really going to uh, buy a set. I was just trying to go the actual cheaper route and just go ahead and bend my own line. This is actually a six millimeter line, which is a little bit bigger than what's on the truck. And uh, try to get it all matched up. This end here was fine, as far as the threaded nut goes. Um, even though this nut here was actually rounded off, I bought new ones and put it on this line. And I had a small, um, I had the same size on this end, and realized, oh, they're not the same size. So I had to cut, and I was going to fit the other one on the original line onto this, and it would not fit. The uh, threaded nut was actually too small for this line so I said screw it I'll just go ahead and buy new lines be done and over with I'll show you that here in just a second okay so thunder here on the rear there's the new line it goes all the way up to that block and then there's the passenger side line I just went ahead and replaced that side too might as well I'm already here um, but anyway, on the other one, this in here was actually, uh, stripped out, uh, as far as the nut piece goes. This up here was fine, but the problem was, is you cannot have that size to go here, because then it's too big to go in your block. And you can kind of see the difference of both of these nuts. They're both the same size, but they're small. A lot smaller than what that is. So I, that's the issue that I ran into. And nobody carried, nobody carried this size for a six millimeter line. So I just went, like I said, I just went ahead and said, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a whole new a uh, whole new brake line and be done and that's what I done so this line here is a lot smaller it's probably like a five and a half or something or a five uh, millimeter because it's so small but it works threads in nicely like I said these here says they're for nine inch brakes on or nine inch drums only or nine inch brakes only but these will work for 10 inch as well they fit and all I got to do now is go up there and now bleed the system uh, I'm gonna run into a few things on that too I'm not gonna bleed the system right now because I don't have a second hand and I don't have a one-man brake uh, brake bleeder so right now so anyway when you get ready to bleed your brakes if you just did the back and had to go all through all this work and maybe you didn't have to go through all this work, but you still had to bleed your brakes. Don't just bleed the back brakes. You, if you just bleed the back brakes, you're still gonna have air in the system. So what you'll need to do is you're gonna need to start with the furthest one away, passenger rear, driver rear, and then you're gonna go up front and bleed the passenger front and then driver front. You want to bleed all of them. Make sure you get all the air and stuff out. Because if not, 
you're not your brake pedal's not going to work like it should it'll probably still be going to the floor or something um, or the brakes ain't going to be working properly like they should so keep that in mind anytime you do brakes and stuff on these do all of them not just the back if you do the front and you some for some reason you have to replace the calipers or something in the front the same thing bleed all of them not just the front uh, you want to make like I said make sure you get all the air out of the system but anyway as far as the lines go they look good they fit and all I got to do is bleed it next I've already done replaced the uh, shoes I've replaced the drums I've replaced all the spring kits and stuff back here. Um, whole rear end's been rebuilt now. New axles, new new seals, new gears with Yukon gears. Uh, so yeah, finally. These are the old uh, shoes that came off of the truck. They've been sitting out here. It's been raining, so everything's rusting up even more. Um, but yeah, this... These uh, shoes was replaced back in 2002. Um, it was a year that I remember because of the fact that this is before we took the truck to go to California. Uh, and these shoes were replaced back in 2002. And uh, so, yeah, it's lasted that long. Lasted that long. But you can't even get... Well, I don't say you can't get that many miles on, on shoes, but uh, a lot of people that likes to ride the brake a lot, you'd be going through shoes or through brake pads or anything like that so quick. It won't even last 17 years, but these last 17 years, but being off the brake and not being a brake rider and using the gears and using the brakes when necessarily needing to use the brakes. So that's what makes them last. So not being a brake rider. This one here still got some good pad left on it. Even though, yes, they're wore down, of course. They're definitely wore down, but they're not wore down so much down to the actual metal. They still have some pad. So, seven, like I said, 17 years worth. And these drums here are actually the original drums. Um, but I went ahead and replaced them anyway. They weren't pitted or anything. They looked really, really good. Like I said, they've been sitting out here, so it's been kind of rusted up a little bit because it rained and stuff, and it don't take much for this stuff to rust up. But there wasn't no uh, there wasn't no pitting or anything like that. There wasn't hit any heavy grooves or anything. They still looked really good. But I just went ahead and I was like, well, I'm going to be doing a whole new brake job anyway, so and I know it's probably time for... Uh, rebuild on it so I just went ahead and re put all new brakes on new springs the whole whole night even the wheel cylinders changed them out even though they didn't look to be bad they weren't leaking or anything but uh, I went ahead and replaced them anyway uh, so everything's good so all original huh, all original almost all original for the most part wheel cylinders were the original the springs were the original the drums were the original but the shoes was not. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually the, let's see, from the original to the O2. The o so this makes third time. And here it is, 2019. So anyway, y'all be good, be safe, God bless. And if y'all have got any uh, questions on something like this, or whatever, as far as the brake lines and stuff, give me a shout out on it. Um, like subscribe if you want you don't have to if you don't want to always helps out though but uh, anyway guys that's it all right bye